There we go. We are live. Awesome, guys. Hi, everyone out there. This is Roxy. Welcome to Hukulo's webinar. We're going to talk about the here and the now today, and we're kind of letting just putting it out there and letting people join in. I just posted it on Facebook, so it went out to a few groups. So I am waiting for some people doing wonderful. Thank you. Multimedia dimensional. Cute. Rally. Uh, Rowie has bad internet connections. He can't join. Oh, uh, he's having that thing with his landlord type of thing or something, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. I will publish the YouTube clip on the website. So. Yeah, publish the YouTube clip. Stand by, everyone. We're getting it on board. And the people out there, if there's anyone watching, hi. Get your coffee. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about being here and now. Mm -hmm. And see what's happening. Oh, well, Justin can fell off. He's having a little bit of internet trouble as well. The camera's kind of uh, hokey. I don't think it's the camera. I think it's the internet. What is that, Frontiza? Let me look at you. Very cute. Who's that? Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Rally wants you to put the... Okay, there it is. All right, very good. Yeah. We got it up there. There we go. Someone's writing. We're good. We're good. And Very nice cat. Here's Marga. Hmm. All right. So we should start now. It's been about five minutes after the start. Can't seem to find how to get on the website. What's that, you, Gabriel? Did you write the, that? The YouTube link. I'm trying to see how I can put it on the event. Oh, on the event itself? Yeah. On uh, Hukula? Yeah. Okay. I, I will manage somehow. I go. I'm going to change how I. I'll follow your highest excitement. <laughs> and guys, hey, listen, this is, uh, I mean, the focus on this is uh, the here and now, and we'll talk about that. Um, but if you guys have any particular questions or anything of, um, Margaret keeps dropping off too. There she is. Hang on. Hey, Marga, I just wanted to say, if you guys have any particular questions, type them. I'll be watching that. If uh, no one's speaking, speak up. Don't hesitate at all. This is absolutely 100% open. If there's any um, YouTube people out there watching, which I know there are, hey, Gabriel, how can they type into the chat? Do you have that so they can type into the chat and have questions answered and such? Um, I, I do not know how to enable Q&A at the moment, so it did not go. But there's eight people watching. Right. So um, if there's eight people watching and any of you are connected with Gabriel, Skype him and tell him how to open up the Q&A box in case you guys have Q&As. Make sense? Yes. I, I think I need to restart everything. Well, don't restart everything because they want to get kicked out. Yeah. So we can continue without it. Yeah. Justin's back. Awesome. 
Can you hear us, Justin? Not yet. Okay. There you are. Marga and Matt, everyone's there. Fantasia. Can hear you very clearly, actually. This device has ever worked. <laughs> awesome. And there's our friend Sean. Hey, Sean, how are you? Hello, how are you? Awesome blossom, baby. Okay, so we're going to talk about the here and now. Well, you want to start with that, guys? Well, that's the part. Beautiful. I was laughing. Mm -hmm. What would you say, baby? Oh, I lost him again. Yeah. Gabriel. Yes, that would be All right. awesome. All right, so we'll start now. And if anyone needs coffee, don't hesitate to go get some. If you wish to share us some information about it first, and then we can discuss I it. I turn off the sound because I'm talking with my father. Okay, Matt, gotcha, baby. And our Evolution Earth Prospect is now joined in. Thank you for joining. And I was telling everyone, if you have a question, type it, or if uh, you just want to speak up and there's like a little lull or something like that, don't hesitate, okay? Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, actually, I'm going to send this to Ivan. Someone else just popped in. Hang on, guys. Paste. There we go. Alright, guys. We're going to talk about the here and now. You guys ready? Booyah. Yeah. All right. The here and now, we'll, we'll just give you this idea. The here and now was a new law that was instilled, so to speak, by that of the Esasani civilization, those of, you know, that you guys have direct, I guess, reflections or remembrance of that of Bashar. It was a, became, I believe it was law number two, to understand that everything is here and now. And the now part is actually quite easy. Because we all know it's now, now, now. But the depth of the here part, I think, is needs to be looked at in a deeper perspective. And what I mean by that, everything is here. And when I mean here, there literally, literally, literally is no over there. When you give yourself the idea of motion to travel through the dimension we call third density, and in third density, it's a 3D dimensional world with space and time space-time. So the illusion is you actually are moving around in space, but the fact of the matter is in that fashion you're not going anywhere. You're creating it right here. And that idea is you're literally kind of like on a hmm, treadmill and you're walking and you think you're moving, but actually the scenery is always coming to you. That is what is really happening. So when you literally say everything is here and now, you want to understand that it's right here in you, your presence. Nothing is, again, over there. The illusion is over there, but again, it's always right here. Trust that, okay? If you choose, of course. And what is really cool about this, now here's the different layer of that we want to understand. If everything is here and now, and you have access to everything in here and now, that means all other dimensions, densities, and all other worlds is right here. You want to sometimes people project to go up to different stars or astral project because that's the means and the capability of the mind to understand that you have to, in that fashion, go to the moon and go to the dark side of the moon and visit the Arcturian ship over there if you choose or you know any of the, let's say, campsites, they call them, <laughs> that are up there. You're not going there. You're bringing it to you. So everything is sitting on top of you. It's your vibrational state. Your, let's say, ultraviolet, which is changing. A very powerful message from the Pleiadians recently have brought forth the idea that your visual, your, let's say, ultraviolet spectrum, 
because you only see about 1% of your society. You don't need to even question that. That's been proven because it's the amount of vibrational light that they've proved with physics that allows us to see what's beyond ourselves and does not according to what we perceive our vision as. In other words, what we co-created as that limitation. However, only to expand in the from then to now, a later time, but now is what truly is going on. You're expanding your visual sight. And to understand that if it's all here, then you can see, literally, experience, feel everything in your presence. Just because you're in third density doesn't mean you need to travel to the portal of Syria and, and go through that to the next universe to experience that. You don't need to do that at all. You just vibrate it and that into your frequency changes. You retune your radio station to the frequency of that and that vibrates that reality not from there, here. So everything literally, literally, literally is right in your presence. It is only the illusion that you are vibrating, creating by bending the light you perceive to give you the certain experience. But as you are adjusting yourself in that fashion, expanding yourself, chipping away at your belief systems, if you will, and taking that, let's say, trust and understanding and letting it flourish on its own when you go along for the ride, literally, and allow these things, little tiny things, don't look for the big epiphany or, you know, you can't get too much because the mind can't comprehend, let alone handle the idea of vibrating the energy and most importantly, relating to that relationship, or rather, relating to that environment, that density, that world that you are projecting now from right here. And the idea of your physical body, your physical body truly is the conduit that brings in the energy and helps that idea balance. It does so many different things. It's not balance that you need to focus on because remember balance in that idea is built into the algorithm of life. It is only the idea of being balanced will you perpetuate having to have balance. But that idea is to have you and the relationship in unison so you can experience it. Now, the DNA factors are always, obviously and most importantly giving you the ability to do that. In other words, to have what you call the sight, okay, through your insight, your sight to visually see what's going on with you now. Now, we don't want you to project too far away, ideally. What you want to see is what truly is right here in front of you all the time. There are thousands upon thousands of civilizations on top of you. <coughs> this is why people walk by ghosts and they get willies. The hair stands up on the back of your neck. You just sense something. And many times you hear things. You hear things. That idea. So when you hear things and you're looking around, it's not because, let's say, it was something within the density that you are actually creating and experiencing and then focusing as, let's say, focusing on the only reality. You've raised your vibration and you're tuning in more, let's say, tunable radio stations right here. And then, right where you are, those things pull into your reality and then start giving you the experience of that. And when you get these, let's say, willies or sounds, things that go bump in the night, it's literally you can be hearing or vibrating in or allowing, truly, remember that, allowing different, let's say, density beings to co-create with you for a certain experience of expansion, okay? Again, 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 again. There is no, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing that can ever, ever be in your reality without your consent, period. Don't ever think there's anything coming to get you or what are they doing to me. That's not anywhere, any way, shape, or form the truth. The only truth is, is that you are the creator of your own perspective reality according to your free will, which entails couches and compasses. That which you understand is co-creation. So whatever is getting in your reality, quote that idea, is not getting in because they snuck in. 
is because you are co-creating. So everything is not happening to you. Nothing is happening to you. Everything is happening for you. So when you get experiences that are beyond yourself and then your mind, that lovely mind of you, through your experience from the past is trying to equate it, figure it out, categorize it, analyze it to a certain particular understanding of yourself, what's happening, then you will only use that memory as a reasonable explanation of that. This is why the progress of UFOs, the progress of the third density idea mindset, the social conscious awareness have been, let's say, lagging because they're always trying to equate it to a truth of the past. There are no truths of the past. The past is that truth in the now of that now. That's the truth then. But you can't take a truth from the past and place it within this now because this now is everything and everything within that now is perfect. So if it's perfect now, here now, that's all there is. So in other words, when you're trying to figure something out that is experientially being received by you, you co-created that, don't figure it out from logic. Don't figure it out from memory. Don't figure it out from comparison, equatable experiences, because that is that now, and that now is perfect in its own right, but that was experience, and that no longer serves you, and if it needs to be served, you would have come around in a different fashion, most certainly, but this is the now you need to be focused on. Now, this is why we're always, always hammering the collective, if you will, if you will, in the fashion of we are now, now, now. You are not seamlessly flowing through time. Time is passing you by because you were right here. You're not going over there in time. You're standing still, and time is literally passing you. That is the series of pictures that the Essesani have so grandly shown you are the film okay you take out the film and you can go to any particular picture in that film strip in that negative if you will and you are a series of rooms creating 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 so if you know everything is here you can stop time with ability with understanding with clarity which will come to you because that's built into the system if you will and that when that comes to you you see the now here, it's now. Stop. Observe. It feels like time is moving, but as you are now in observant of a picture and start the repetition or the rhythmic idea that everything is a picture, 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 new, 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 now, 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 and here, 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 then that retrains your mind in opening up the possibilities that are allowable to come in. In other words, people like see things all of a sudden and they don't even realize where they are. They're like, holy shit, how did I get here? And then boom, they're back and they're like, wow, where did I go? Because they went to a different now, which is right here, but they shifted their picture. The reality gave them a different feeling, vibration, sense. They locked in a tuning reality and put it as a picture form right here. And then it was gone. They didn't go anywhere. They didn't leave. But they experienced it because it's all right here. They experienced the new room that they vibrated into, much like you are experiencing by your belief systems the room that you just created over and over and over. And the apparency is that it's a fluid time, but it's not. It's a series of pictures passing you by. So when you understand that time and space in the here and the now are all in their own individual right, one picture at a time, one picture at a time, one picture at a time. Now, space and time is, let's say, conducively co-creating each one of those pictures. So let's all think for a second to a different now, not here because everything is here. Let's take it to a different now. Let's go back to the beginning of this conversation. Mm -hmm. So if you go back to the beginning of the conversation, Guess what is there in that picture? The space, which is here, and the time. The time is there. Okay? You call it the past, but it is all in equation within that time space. 
So if you shift that reality back to here, you get the same time as that created room. So if it was 10 minutes ago, you shift in time and bringing that now to this here and now, and then now you're in time. Because time is not passing, you are going to here, here, here. Oh, here's that moment 10 minutes ago. I can shift this here, this room, back to that moment and re-experience truly at that time and space right here. Are we all following on this? Questions? Anybody? Yes, it's good information. <laughs> They're pausing. <laughs> Infinite joy. Thank you, Sean. Great uh, meet a very time vibration weekend. Really, good, good, good. We can we can have your fine suits. No, Where I was you? reading. No, I was reading. So anybody, anybody, Ivan, Ivans, what are you dancing for? Because you want a channel. Yeah. I'm... Yeah, you want a I'm... channel so you you get rid of your energies somehow. Mm, get right? rid of my energies, you mean? Why do you want to get rid of your energy? I was wondering about that. I don't want to get rid of my energy. I'm just but allowing my energy to flow through me. Because you're not being able to speak. Hmm. I am able to speak, speak, but I see it's your, let's say, turn now to speak. So I'm waiting for opportunity. <laughs> when yes. you finish. So you, so you do the dancing. Yeah. I love it. All right, Ivan, your show. Go ahead. All right, thank you very much. <clears throat> One more I've been quick. to the channel, I'm sure. Mm. Don't you love where the now is taking us? Yeah. That baby. <clears throat> Greetings to you all entities. I'm Rice from Collective Oversoul Fire once again. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Roxana, for your today's sharing. There is another idea that our Oversoul Collective is willing to share with you. Willing. This is awesome. a deal relative to the your pathway of awakening. Please don't understand when you tune yourself into frequency of willingness to become conscious in your daily experiences, to become conscious in your, let's say now, fourth density reality, you will see that entire life that you live here upon this plane becomes a channeling act. What we mean by that is this. You don't have to control, let's say, almost anything. Your life will become effortless and automatic. It will be for you like you're observing a movie strip, like it's no longer you, that you are becoming your higher mind perspective. You don't care what will happen with your body because you understand clearly that you're outside of it, that you understand clearly that your body exists within your consciousness as a perspective. <clears throat> One moment, please. Another perspective from our collective for today's sheriff. Many of you remember from your past childhood experiences the idea of fear from the dark. Why? Why so many children experience that idea? Please understand that the darkness itself, so to speak, is an empty reality. Those people in your reality who practice magic, yes, and magic does work for those people who believe in it. They create their own bubble realities and they can use these bubble realities for their own advantage. You can use this permission slip if you will, of course. But the idea of darkness itself is the idea that will allow you, if you wish, to invite more non-physical into your experience. Don't be afraid of the dark. Now the darkness becomes your biggest friend. You can interact with any entities from our collective and other collectives by using this permission step of darkness. Now it is your best friend. Don't be afraid of that. Whatever you believe you can face and experience in the darkness will be what will become possible for you. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? No? Yes, this is Hayan. What? This is Hayan. All right. 
is this the same collective oversoul as was speaking through Roxy? Yes, it is the same collective, but channeled from the different prism as a different permission slip idea for us. Actually, all of you are a part of our collective as well. Otherwise, you would not be here right now. We are creating our own bubble reality in the idea of ascension, awakening, becoming non-physical. You understand? Yes. And it's from your perspective uh, an oversoul different from a collective oversoul? Well, please understand this idea. Anything that you can imagine can be understood as consciousness. Time itself is the movement of consciousness. So there is no really a strict definition of what consciousness actually is. But, so to speak, we are a higher non-physical perspective that all of you can access at any time you believe it is possible. Just let go what don't belongs to you, your daily concerns, 3D stuff, and you will become us. And it is that easy. We grant you that. All right. We are non-physical extension of your consciousness. In actual fact, we are more you than your 3D body perspective. All right. Well, hello to me. You're welcome. Anything else? Or maybe somebody of you is willing to try to channel. Yes, it's very exciting opening up in for me. Like, there's not really anything away from accessing this. What? No, I mean, you can just tune into the, that idea you shared. That's Please okay. repeat your question. It does not translate well on our side. I did not ask a question. Oh, all right. Didn't ask a question. Hey, Matt, ask your question. All right. Matt wanted to know, we are now getting ideas and perspectives, but if we know, if we would know it all, how then we could use channeling to get positive or creative way? Matt, if you're there, take it off speaker and speak that in. Uh, if you know it all, I, I can ask. Go moment, Stand by, you Ivan. Don't have, all right. Go ahead and say that again, Matt. Please understand this. If you I have, I have, would have the access to us all the time, and you do have access to us all the time, there will be no this pathway of ascension. There will be no experience of awakening. So we are acting for you as a permission slip to become more of yourselves. But you always can access us if you simply let go of your daily concerns and Beam intention of becoming awakened in your physical reality. Beam intention of being who you really are as a consciousness. You are free. Freedom and consciousness is the same idea. Expansion of consciousness. Freedom. Allowance. All love wants. Even your language synchronicity reminds you of your nature. Thank you. You're welcome. Matt, speak up again because it kind of broke up. Matt, are you there? He's muted. So. Yes. Okay. okay. Go ahead and ask your question. My question is, uh, for example, uh, we all in a way, maybe imagine that we all know our, the, how the universe is built, how it works. But the question is, how can we use channeling if we are not interested in those topics of how the universe works or what it is? What so your question is, how channeling works? 
Sure. Oh. No, that's not his question. Say it again. My question is, for example, if we know all about the universe, how it's built and everything, what then and how, in what way we can use channeling for a creative way or in a positive way after, if we are not interested anymore in the universe laws and everything? Well, you are a universe. It's up to you if you are willing to understand this or no, yes or no. But it's about acting on your excitement every moment that you can. Expanding yourself, living your joy, ascending your collective. This is, let's say, your primal mission upon this face of your planet. This is why you all are here, gathered, not only today, for, but always for eternity of your lives. You are the awakeners. You are the ones who will guide your collective to, uh, to the further awakening reality. You have a huge work here, but it's not a work of hardship, it's work of joy, of ascension, of being yourself. Uh, I have a question about my... I started speaking a lot of languages. What? That I, I've been channeling a lot of languages, and I'm wondering, is that my higher self speaking what I'm saying when I speak the languages I've been speaking? Well, yes. So, what do you want to know about these languages? No, it's very exciting. I've been exploring a lot of different oh, galactic wonderful. languages since the summer. So, what but I understand... As we read your energy now, that majority of the languages that you speak are connected to the idea of Lyrak. I don't know what that Lyrak is. It's constellation Lira? upon your sky's plane. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like it's me saying everything. Sometimes it feels like it's another entity speaking. Well, it depends from through which belief system are you willing to, let's put it this way, channel your consciousness because there is only one consciousness and you are dividing this consciousness by different ideas by different belief systems and definitions you are everything okay well, that's exciting so in that sense there are no difference between you and other entity aside from definition how you define yourself to be Yes, I, In actual fact, your definition is holding you into the focus of this physical plane. When you let go of your crystallized limiting definitions, you rise up your frequency, you lighten up your energy, and you go up, up, up towards your higher mind perspective. That's awesome. Can you give us some pointers on that? Give you what? One more time, please. Help. Ideas, expansion, avenues, modalities, something that would help the collective to expand themselves to, let's say, uncrust what you consider that of belief systems that are barnacled around you in such a fashion that it looks daunting to even, even, even fathom scraping away at your own belief systems. Can you give us some avenues, some pointers, some help, some tips, some ideas? Well, the best idea that was given to your collective by the respective full entity that you all know Bashar was to act on your excitement but what we can add to this idea is to create your own bubble realities gather the people around yourself to whom you believe you can trust to whom you believe you synchronize yourself with and act crazy be yourself together with those people create new bubble realities more and more and more with more crazy people in it and you will see how your entire world will shift into the crazy state where speaking on the street with yourself will become common thing. Well, the probable, one of the probable times when this will occur upon your world is around the year 2020. 
if you are willing to support this energy. Maybe even sooner. Yes, it is possible. Ascension is an individual idea. You can ascend any moment you so desire. Yes. Just understand your belief systems and let go. By the past of least by the path of least resistance. Sorry for our English. I have a tricky question. <laughs> You are my okay. higher self, right? Yes, we are a reflection of your higher self. Yes, and then... Please and then we are one. When your higher self channel itself to your reality, please understand there is only one center of yourself in your reality. So when the higher self channel itself into your reality, it goes through the prism of your personality construct and the prism of the personality construct of this particular channel and what you experience now is what you get by channeling the energy of your own consciousness of your own intention and focus through the prism of your reality that was created by your belief systems yes I in the sense ask question that I know already answer to but uh, I uh, simply wish to hear our perspective. All and right. That is, um, so uh, we uh, we are one, uh, always yes, one, you are. and we are always one. An actual fact. And in that way, can, yeah. Um, yes. Continue. Who is choosing? Who is who is the one who? makes this decisions we are all one you are the one who makes all decisions there are nobody else but you your consciousness is the flow and within the flow you can recognize yourself and make different choices I can give you a perspective on that if you like Frantisish <coughs> yes Good. Ivan, stand by, please. All right. The idea behind the individual thoughts, let's all go back to the beginning of now, if you will. You had the great conscience, God, creator, source, point zero. Choose what you wear, matters not. That idea was, let's say, having thoughts. However, it can once again only see from the perspective of itself, through its only eyes, its only awareness, its only self. And then that wonderful day came where he observed, she observed, it observed, choose what you will. And we'll use he, but use that as nocturnally as possible if you choose. Give the idea of this. Those thoughts were actually observing. The Creator's thoughts were observing and having thoughts of their own. They were actually thinking how powerful God, Creator, is. Those thoughts were reflecting and having their own thoughts. Those thoughts were having their thoughts and their thoughts. Those individual thoughts, the individual singularity is you. You are a thought in the mind of God. It's all one mind, almost certainly. Frantesis, look into your mind right now. Who's having those thoughts? You are. That's in your mind. You exist in the mind of all that is. So your individual eyes, your individual, let's say, senses, your individual thoughts are those of yours. But that thought is the singularity perspective of all that is. Giving back to what you call, in receivership, the creator. Experiencing himself with the idea of you as a new set of eyes, a new perspective, a new way of looking at the universe infinitely, forever. So you are all one conscious, most certainly. There is no higher, lower, it's just vibration, but that's a limitation. 
but we needed that clarity, let's say 10, 20, 30 years ago, to give you ideas because that's the structure of the paradigm that you accepted as the framework of understanding. So to have, let's say, levels in climbing and the ascension ladder and that kind of idea was most beneficial to the overall collective. And trust me, the collective itself chose that, let's say, modality. To have the idea of densities and higher and lower frequencies and things like that. And remember, you are definitely ascending. What does ascending mean? You're ascending. You're going from here to there. You're climbing the mountain, however you choose to understand it visually in your mind. But you are always and always have been and always will be forever showing yourself, the creator, a perspective from your reality. Within that individual thought process is the singularity of you with the free will choice that God created himself as you to see and understand the fullness of the possibilities of creations forever. Does this help in clarity, Pratizish? Yes, and uh, my question for you, you are my higher self, right? Who? You. Me, owner of self? Higher self, no. Collective, sure. Let me, uh, let me give you a clarity. So who is giving me this perception? Stand by, stand by, stand by. Let me give a point first. There's an idea of a higher self. Jesus, look in the mirror. Do you see that personality complex right now? Do you understand who you are? Yes or no? Not, not through yes. the mirror. <laughs> yes, through the mirror, of course. That's why we gave ourselves the mirror. But you know who you are. You feel your, let's say, existence. Do you understand that? Yes. That is who your higher self is. You are you. When you are, let's say, remembering yourself, okay, you are remembering yourself, that's when you become more of the personality you were as, always, but just forgot. You are remembering your higher self is the entity you understand as you, period. You are falling in love and become more of the personality of the free will choice, the one that debates, the one that says, should I, shouldn't I, the one that says, I love this, I don't love this, the one that gets angry and gets upset. That's you shedding the belief systems of all that is in this idea, illusion, to ascend only the civilization of humanity, not you, because you, personality, are ascended. So when you understand your higher self, that's literally, literally, literally the person you see in the mirror every day. There is not a higher self of a different kind of being that's, let's say, an Arcturian right now. That could be a portion, a fractal of yourself, yes. But your concern upon this plane and this now, here and now, Understanding the complexities, intricacies of that of creation. The focus is understanding you. To discover yourself always, it leads to revelation, which is revolution, period. Now, your higher self, that's you. Trust that. Now, are you wanting to know what is, let's say, oversoulish or that kind of idea? I'm asking. Yeah, uh, kind of like God idea, you know, within me. I know that I am that God, you know, that I'm uh, choosing to uh, get uh, what I believe I deserve through this idea <laughs> of God sure. that is allowing me or not allowing me to have that or allowing others or not allowing others to have that. Well... Uh, it's it's idea that uh, that uh, I create separation within myself uh, just to explain to myself how it all works and make it click together. But, uh, that uh, doesn't necessarily mean that uh, uh, we cannot play this game. You know, this. that's perfect. 
Because that's you discovering yourself. That's you in contemplation, in observation, in expansion of what you feel you are. That's remembering you, which is the higher self. So, yeah, perfect. Anything to add, Ivan, on this one? I believe you shared enough. Booyah. Any other questions out there? Yeah, I guess it goes uh, even uh, further than um, <clears throat> who is giving me uh, this perception I'm having? Who is preparing it for me? You. 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 How? Your higher self. Set this up. In other words, when you wake up, you're going to take this portion of forgetfulness and go, oh, yeah, I was me the whole time. There was never that person. That person was me, but that person had a veil, a separation. To create out of that, let's say, idea of separation, to, let's say, take the entire civilization beyond itself, as well as expanding your personality complex. Because if you came down here, ascended, you know everything in the moment like you do up there. What's the use? There is a use, it's experience. But you are looking for the depth of humanity, physicality. Let's say forgetting so you can find your way with your own wits, your own trust, your own love, your own experience through your thousands of lifetimes to bring forth expression to that of God. But also to expand the conscience, the collective of you beyond yourself. So you have made every decision. Nobody else. But you're going, no, I didn't make that. I didn't remember that. There it is. Because what you would do is remembering yourself back in the mind of God. You never left. But the apparency of that, but that's the illusion, is you did leave. But that's the gift. That's the gift. And believe me, every time most of you wake up, you're going, hmm. I'll sit and contemplate for 100 years, maybe 200, maybe 300, and co-create an entire new idea of a soulful purpose. Not one in particular. There are many, many reasons why you come here. It may be that of just a death. It may be that of just a love or just a certain experience to be, let's say, mindful, and then one to be a laborer. It doesn't matter. You serve yourself by being here in the collective to experience this side of reality. Because when you know everything, God what you do, all of you have it, that ability because that's built in, that's what you are. You immediately create and know all that is in every single moment now, 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 forever. Now, down here you don't. So you get a different perspective of yourself from a different view. Much like God separated in that idea, created all of himself in the individuality, so he's, let's say, not infringing upon you in any way, shape, or form, because he is you, you are getting the same perspective God is getting through its eyes of all of you. You are getting, higher self, is getting a perspective from you in separation. So you're showing yourself what you're capable of. But when you wake up, when you deaminate or ascend, either one, you go, wow, I did that. That was me. Oh, yeah, I remember who I am. And there's only peace and joy. There's not like, damn it, I messed up. I should have done this. There's none of that because that's polarity that exists in this plane. And you know full well when you come down here exactly all the probabilities because you set them all up. You are the now, period. Make sense? Uh, yeah, but I guess my question is, uh, is uh, my higher self entity that uh, perceives its own reality different from mine? Say <clears throat> that again. Yeah. Is your higher self perceiving? No. In Okay. Yes and no. Through you, it sees you. But through your probable selves, it sees that. And through your past selves, it sees that. And through your future self, it sees that. Does that make sense? It's choosing. You're looking for a definition of the separation. Why? It's not separate. You are experiencing this, but you also have, let's say, the choice that you didn't come in to this idea. You didn't come to the, what do you call, webinar today. You lived a different reality. Now, who is experiencing and understanding that? Your higher self. You. But that's a probable self playing out. 
it's not that much of a contradiction as you are uh, proposing, you know, because well, that's, we, course, we that's all are one. We all, uh, in that sense, you know, are one consciousness. Of course. Yet we have we have different experiences. Yes. We are having that's different choices. Yes. So your higher self is having a different reality than you, but it also is you. You have the ability to see all of the realities of your higher self right here, right now. It is only your belief system that is not letting you to shift your conscience into the probable self that didn't come into the webinar, the probable self of your past and future lives. The probable selves of your, let's say, higher self incarnating as different entities that you are familiar with and shifting your conscience, you, the official you, you see in the mirror every day over there to experience that. But that's where you're going. Make sense? Yeah, it uh, quite does make sense. But um, for me, it's kind of easier to relate to the idea of my higher self is something that is, that is just creating all that I perceive for me to perceive it and I choose how I perceive it yes what I radiate from it and how yes uh, perfect so my, my choice is not not uh, everything <laughs> from from this perspective I'm having my choice oh. is just how I perceive what my higher self presents to me, and that is all of you. So in in my reality, we are all higher selves of each other. If you choose that, that is perfect. Rock on with your paradigm. Anyone else? Sean, I don't like looking in the mirror. I don't feel like it's accurate representation of myself. It will never be I am so much more than the image of the mirror. So let me ask you a question, Sean. You there, Sean? Yeah. Okay. And also Jay said, I know what you mean, Sean. So let's go with Sean first. Sean, I don't, this is your statement, I don't feel... Um, I don't feel like looking in the mirror. I don't feel like it is accurate representation of myself. It will never be I am so much more than the image in the mirror. So you don't like your mirror? No, I just choose not to look at it because... Well, you're, let, me, let me tell you something. You are always looking at it. Take your microphone off. Stop. Just keep it unmuted, kid. So let me ask you a question. Look around your room right now. That's your mirror. That's you creating that reality. That's your reflection. If you're not happy with it, what's wrong with it? I've never seen it in that way before. It, you've just opened up a new possibility in my mind. Yeah. The mirror is what you don't prefer and what you do prefer. Follow the highest excitement of what you do and your reality will change because the mirror is neutral. When you fear, you get fear. When you have lack, you get lack. It doesn't say, oh, wait a minute, no, 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 let's not do this yet. This is not, don't, we don't deserve this. No, bullshit. You are the creator of that mirror. You and your higher self are not separate. You are one. So you are creating that. Trust that you are the unum of that, and the mirror is there to, let's say, show you things of the belief system. Guys, remember, you're not here to ascend yourself. Once again, you guys are ascended. What you've chosen to do is take an entire civilization of physicality and move it to the next density, coupled with eons of belief systems that you are telepathically feeling through an entire collective, because you all are, are truly one. So you're taking that entire physical let's say, idea of belief systems, social conscious acceptance, and shedding them. This is a daunting task. That's why you guys are masters. You're not only taking the belief systems of your family, of your friends, of your teachers, of your co-workers, anything that you are perceiving is a belief system. 
as well as coupled with the intentional vibration of the entire collective. For everyone is that intimately connected, there's no way that you do not feel whatever someone else is feeling. You are doing the service to humanity by coming here and challenging yourself in the mirror to go beyond and not choose the reality of that of illusion. And as the more you choose your inner self, your love, your being all that is that you prefer to do, that's when you dismantle, deconstruct that of the illusion because there's no energy feeding it anymore. Simple as that. So you have an awesome, awesome experience here, Sean, to come down here and say, I don't like the mirror. Perfect. Then change it. And don't think you can't because if you say you can't or never, never, then you will always perpetuate can't, can't, or never. The mirror is neutral. Ta-da. Do a checkup from the neck up before you get out there and create your next idea and say, I am all this is. I am joy. I am happy. I am free. I am my own individual. I am. I am God's creation. I am expressing God through me here on human, the humanity, human plane. So what you do is just go and be yourself as yourself in the moment with no fear. And if you are doing that with your love, what does the mirror give you? Love. love. It cannot do anything else. Period. That's why reality shifts so quickly when you have a jo joyous moment. And then as soon as you say, God, that was awesome, but I don't deserve it anymore. I don't think that it'll be this. And then all of a sudden your reality goes back to the norm because you perpetuate it. But that is exposing to you a belief system of that of disbelief. Hmm. Truly. Make sense? Yeah. Booyah. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Anyone else out there in La La Land want to talk? Hey, Roxanne. It's Jay. Hi, baby doll. What's up, JJ? Um, yeah, I felt like I knew what he meant because um, I didn't like looking in the mirror at one point in my life when I was a little bit younger. Sure. And now I don't mind it. I didn't even like mirrors at all. I just didn't want to see any of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's, it's like I don't mind it, you know. But I know what you guys are talking about. Right. And that's good because, I, I mean, the mirror is so truthful and it's so understandable. It's, but but it, looks, it looks like it's too simple. It looks like it's too easy. Whatever I put out, it's right there. Really? No, it doesn't look like that. It doesn't feel like that because you mm -hmm. never realized before that your vibration was your reality. And when you like don't like the mirror, then you get back a mirror that doesn't like you. Oh, yeah. And now you're shifting that awareness. Guys, fall in love with yourself. You are that of the individual singularity of the mind of God. You always have been. You always will be. You exist forever. And in that idea, when you vibrate that confidence, you exude from the pores of your soul, your being, your bubble of love, that pulses out to the reality, it only, let's say, reflects, reverberates back, your sonar puts out, bing, and you ping back love, because you're putting out love. But don't rush it, and don't expect, and don't think this, and don't get frustrated, because those are the belief systems that you are, let's say, shedding. So when you get excited about something, stay in the excitement, no matter what the belief system of social conscience accepted has taught you. No matter what they say you need to. Anytime anyone, anyone, anyone gives you advice, that's advice that you are offering a reflection back to them. They need to look at themselves. And advice comes in this fashion, just to let you know. It's, let's say, unsolicited. Someone comes up to you, you need to do that, or you should do this. No, thank you. I understand that. I love you. However, but when you are just vibrating and co-creating, and it comes in as an idea of epiphany, or someone speaks a word and they're not actually speaking to you to tell you what to do, then that's where the mirror offers you a new reality, a new opening, a new expansion of self. But you also offer those who telling you, because what are they seeing? What are they seeing in the mirror when they offer advice? They're seeing fear. They're exposing themselves to an idea that is going beyond what they consider reality, their mm -hmm. framework. So when they offer advice, they are seeing their fear, so they want to fix it. 
you can't do that because I've accepted this reality over here, although they don't see it that way. But since I accepted this reality, someone else is doing something that I want to do, but they don't understand that. But they're birthing something, so they're going, wait a minute, you can't do that. You need to do that. You need to go get a job. You need to work hard. You need to get educated. You need to have good credit. You need to get married and have 2.5 kids. You can't travel. You got to settle down. You got to get a car. You got to buy a Lexus. You got to have these clothes. You got to do this. You got to have this or you won't have that. Okay? Everything is about lack. And when they're telling you that advice, that idea of what is supposed to be, that's you telling you, no, it's not. Because when anyone tells me in the mirror I should do that, this is how the mirror is serving you. You give it the energy, it's due diligence, say, ah, I understand that. However, not my reality, and you go about your nows. You have no concern. You're not missing. Is there a lesson in here? Let me tell you something, entities. If you understand the discernment is still and fully and always has been in play in its vibrational sense from since day one, the discernment of the mirror, it's like... That doesn't fit. I don't need to be staying here. I don't need this. No, you don't because it doesn't resonate with you. Shift. Poof. Go. 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 About your nows. You don't need to be obligated for a certain idea. Someone tells you, well, maybe you need to meditate three or four times a day because this is what it did for me, did for me. If it feels good, then do it. But if it doesn't, say thank you. No thanks. And then go. And if they get upset at you, that's them telling them, Hey, you're holding on to a belief that you need to fix them. They're not broke. They're God. Playing their own battle, their own reality, their own expansion, their own expression, their own journey, their own idea of themselves every day. Allow them. Because when you give love, you ping off to them more and more of their belief systems that are hidden. And every time something slights the mirror with you and you get pissed at it, that's your belief. But if you have a not nonchalance about it, that's you understanding you're offering them. Does this all make sense, JJ? Oh, yes. Booyah. The mirror is a, awesome. A uh, meditation I had, um, not recently, but a little while back, I felt like I was as, I was as big as the room. So what, do you, what um, Sean was saying, it's not like the representation of myself in a mirror. I know what he's saying in, the, in that perspective, too, where I felt as giant as the room. Yeah. You know why? Because you are the room. Hmm. Never, never mistake the idea that you are actually in a density. You are the density. You, higher self, is creating this tiny fractal with the experience along with it. You're vibrating and bending, collapsing all this light into a finite reality. When you shift your conscience to the room larger than, you are going up to your higher self in that fashion. You're getting a higher perspective of yourself. It's much like the easy practicum is when you're walking down the street, shift your conscience to about five feet back and five feet above you and look down at yourself walking down the street. Because why, do we, can, why is that the easiest? Simple because of video games. Mm. When you're walking in that idea from a video game behind it, we see that now more and more. That is out in the collective. Don't think for one second that nothing on this earth serves a purpose. Everything serves a purpose. Every single thing is intricately put together for a specific idea of self. So if you can play a video game like Destiny from behind that a person, that's you in conscience behind your reality self as well. You're shifting your observership from the eyes to the higher. That's now fully in play, most certainly. Make sense? Oh, yeah, definitely. Awesome blossom. I, I love how our, we have an imagination so we could just kind of do anything with that, you know? Exactly. The imagination is everything. It's your PowerPoint. That is you creating. When you see possibilities, that's a possibility reality. That's not made up. It's an existence point of now because you create your reality through what you perceive you want to have. Hi, Cotty. Hi, baby. Say hi. There you go. So now you understand that your imagination has never been a big imagination. It is all that is. And then when you see that idea of possibilities and you're excited about it and it turns you on, then you put your focus on it. 
that focus becomes a probability of energy, of trust, of love, and then that's where your reality comes into the physicality instead of a possibility, probability, experience. All from your imagination. Yes, because, because everything is here and now. Imagination is your oh, final step. I don't know. You don't need to go anywhere else from there. Whatever you wish to have, whatever you wish to be, Conjure up in your imagination, and you are there. It is the end of it. The manifestation in the physical world, as you say, is just a dip of the iceberg. Your focus. Your focus can be spread. You can be looking through two sets of eyes. And the way to allow it, to experience it fully, One way is to let go of the belief that you are not something because the idea that all is one, all that can exist, exists, means you are even that which you say you are not. That's beautiful. Become that idea if you like it. Ground it by living it as if it was your truth. <laughs> Yeah, I believe it was over. What's that, baby? I believe it was over already. <laughs> it was the final sentence. <laughs> Good. Anyone else? Channel, mm. speak, cables, bits. I feel like do some actorial. Come oh, go on. Ahead. Go on. Go ahead. <laughs> Bring up vibration. Roxel, are you there? Anything else? Yeah. <laughs> kind of like, uh, it, I don't yeah. know what happened, but if anyone else wants to channel or speak, go ahead. <laughs> Come on, that was fine.
don't get shy out about that. <laughs> the, the languages, we've been doing it in groups in summer. Cool. <laughs> Perhaps I believe you can channel some writings, their letters, their perspectives. Yeah. But that might be fun. Of course, if you believe it is fun. Yeah. <clears throat> I just trust that I can speak the languages. So if someone speaks a galactic language to me, I trust that I can speak it. Then I start speaking in that language. And this without... trust allows you to speak. This is what you need. Permission, sleep idea, such as trust. That connects your consciousness into the realm of your higher mind, into the realm of other entities, other creatures, other civilizations. Cool. Booyah. Yeah. I I just, I just know I can speak a language, so it does I just do it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, we can, as Obama says. <clears throat> Hello, Yasmina. But it's from our reality perspective at this moment it's Let's put it this way, hard to create a belief system, to align your belief system into the idea that somebody else at the same time can channel the same language as you do. And this is actually possible. But we have to align our belief systems to this extent. And this is relevant to the idea that I used to channel several weeks or one week ago, I don't remember exactly, about reaching the idea of limitation of synchronicity of 3D reality of our physical realm when non-physical energies will become sparking in our 3D world like when magic appears. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> yeah, with, Ooh, the with the languages I just connect with other people <laughs> and then so I believe, guys, it would be really, really cool if you find somebody who's excited about the idea of channeling other languages into our collective. Find those people, connect with those people, and try to align yourself into the same language idea, same civilization, and see what you can get. Yeah, we've been doing that in summer, so that's exciting. <laughs> Good. And it's like everybody who joins, they start speaking the language almost immediately. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> but it's about aligning, getting yourself into alignment. And you mean what I mean. Yes. You know what I mean. Anybody else want to share something? Roxy did a huge job today for speaking for so long. I ain't done yet. I speak <laughs> forever. <laughs> yeah. Go one mute and we got another channel coming through. <clears throat> this one I have to channel for though. Not as easy as Osipheus. I have to tune in and, as you say. Online. Relax, relax. No judgment. We are hey, here hey. friendly loving. Yes. Stand by. Please mute yeah. yourself. I'm already there. All right. Now, this is Osiphius, and we're going to bring in that what you understand is Seth. Seth has an idea of vibration and alignment that, let's say, Ivan was speaking about. Here we go. Now, the idea of alignment echoed and channeled by that of Seth. Dictation. In the fathomable now of, let's say, comprehension that you all are experiencing within the, let's say, acceptable reality of that which you are, there is nothing more than what you perceive yourself to be in the mirror. That is all you are. That is all you will ever be through perspective. That perspective mirror reflects back to you that which you consider acceptable reality. Therefore, giving you the experience in the reflection from your continuation, your series of nows, and that mirror always offers the idea of vibrational alignment beyond your current framework. It does truly dwell within the outskirts of your framework beyond yourself truly. 
However, remember you, your higher self in that separated but unum fashion, is always pinging a vibration, a tone, a frequency, a radio station for equivocal terms. Those radio stations are, let's say, within your home radius. Your home radius are acceptable realities that you shift to in every day. You are constantly retuning yourself to experience a particular reality. That of, let's say, traveling, going somewhere, vibrating to a different excitement level, giving you a higher, or in that fashion, a less preferred reality. All serving a purpose, though, however. <laughs> when you distance yourself from your home beacon, that is, let's say, a heightening of expansion. You may be feeling airy. You may be feeling that of, let's say, not so grounded. The fashion idea is to seek that vibration, that alignment that brings a new experience within you to align to, to give that vibrational co-creation brought into the collapsing light idea of an experience reality. The further you travel away what you consider your home beacon, the idea is the further you expand your framework of acceptable reality. So on the distance, on the horizon, in travel, in space-time, and we're not literally talking about moving or traveling somewhere within the same home beacon, we are traveling higher distance in, let's say, framework idea. When you find a tuning in that is acceptable that you, yourself, higher self, has offered in the mirror, the allowance of that as a reality of believability is you truly tuning into it. And as you hone in this radio station, call it fine-tune if you will, that fine-tuning will bring that experience in. You may, let's say, have to travel into a countryside to find a, let's say, hmm, bridge, let's say bridge frequency. And then there will be more frequencies available, more distance from what you called your home. But there will be more frequencies available and then more and more and more until this new idea becomes your now home frequency where you are what you would call comfortable, accepted, acceptable. However, there are very, let's say, many more in that idea ideas of frequencies available now within that new home base reality, that new frequency you're constantly vibrating at, aligned with in this now. So you may have been only one radio station, let's say, at the beginning of your now, but you really did tune higher and allow more in, therefore you woke up. Then you consider that self your home basin, and now you are getting farther and farther away from your home. But what you truly are is expanding your radio station to allow more frequencies to tune in, more channels to shift to for experience of self. And the larger radio station you become, the more pinging out you, let's say, broaden your horizon. Then conscious focus is where you, let's say, go. And that going is your highest excitement if it is that of easement, of slipstream, of that of non-conflict. Anything conflictive is you pushing through your framework to go through that conflict, face it, fear, and see what it is. Truly that of tissue paper, illusion, false, malleable, slippery. You go beyond that and your frequency is so strong it tunes into a broader, larger self of frequency, vibrating higher and higher, if you will. The idea is you're not leaving one place to go to the next. What it is is you're always here and what you do is strengthening your signal to tune into more of those vibrational frequencies that you can bring in from over there to right here. 
So it is only truly expansion. But we give you the modality of traveling to find new frequencies to, let's say, excursion to the limits of your own acceptable framework and then go beyond that to the outside of that idea of acceptability to really see that it has always been you right here. So when you realign yourself with a tuning of something that is joyous, adventurous, exciting, that is a probable self that is beckoning you to come forth, either a past or a future self of humanity, or of that of extraterrestrial, or that of alien, or that of angelic, within the arcs in the angelic as well. All having their own individual frequency of existence, because that is that self experiencing that here and now, which is truly here and now. It is your tuning in, aligning with, that allows you to experience that right here, right now. So remember, when you ever are challenged, when you ever are supposed to, let's say, do something, all of that is perspective of the acceptable reality you are experiencing. And all of these acceptable realities are that of either equatable comfort or equatable discomfort, equatable joy, equatable sorrow. But they're all love. They're nothing else except that. It is only the perception of that coming into you that gives it a certain perspective according to, again, your acceptable belief of self. How much of a God am I? Am I truly this? The more and more you discover that by venturing, blazing, going beyond yourself, the more tuned in you get to all that is the more magnetic north pings louder and louder to vibrate higher and higher, let's say, sound healing your vibrational sense of beliefs, dissipating those into nothing, because that's what they were, a built construct of separation for a certain purpose, experience. So when you see yourself in the mirror, that of a reflection that is no longer vibrating naturally to you, in other words, it's pinging off of you in irritational forms. That is you sending you a signal, this is no longer needed. This is no longer wanted. Look at it, understand it, tune it out, if you will, tune it in, if you will. Either way, it is all about the frequency of aligning yourself with yourself. Let's say you are in the middle of the universe, which you are, and you are 10 trillion light years on the outside of it. You are traveling home and you in the middle of the universe are always sending out the beacon on how to get home. That beacon is equatable to joy, excitement, love. So when you hear that, feel that, love that, that is your path of least resistance. There may be excursions to the right or to the left but they all serve a purpose of experience and understanding of the Godship that you are. The more you're traveling to the here from over there is the more expansive you're remembering yourself. So align yourself each and every day with your joy, not with your sorrow, not with your suffering. For those are already experienced by the collective for eons. They no longer serve. It is only the ones who are serving a purpose of, for you to choose, that of joy or that of sorrow. The continuation of the illusion by energy feeding or the dissipation of the illusion by shifting your conscience to yourself, your joy, your home beacon. That will always ping, always shine brighter to shepherd you home. And the ones who choose that journey, that path, love them. And the ones who don't choose that journey, that path, love them. For that is you servicing humanity by loving yourself. And without that love for self, there is only a hindrance to the others. The vibration of I don't love myself, offering that to the mirror to the others in your vibrational, let's say, reality. They see no love, feel no love, they enact no love. 
What version do you want? The version of love of that co-creation moment? Or the version of that of no love, of forgetfulness, of fear? You are your reality. The version that you receive is the self-love for yourself. Travel down the slipstream of life. Find your vortex of vibrational honing that is built in, always has been. And travel, let's say, in joyous fashion. And watch yourself become all that is. I bid you a good moment. I don't know. Booyah. You guys good? Good. <laughs> I vow, yeah. Yes, thank you, Seth. My friend can make Russian subtitles for you. What video do you want to translate first? I don't know, baby. What do you think? I, can I don't know. Whichever one your favorite is, have them do it. That would be awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I will choose the best. Yeah, choose whatever you will. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> and maybe we can make a, a, a website. You yeah. know, like... A, like a Odyssey of Ascension Russian translation website. <laughs> nice idea. <laughs> yeah. Very good. All right, guys. Anything else? Sean, do you yeah. speak Russian? No, I'm using Google Translate. Oh, okay. Because I have that too. <laughs> Frantizis, you want a channel? Yes. Yeah. Yes, there are always infinite number of ways how to do things. We call the engine prime motivation for whatever you do. Either you are powered by desire or you are powered by longing. Can you see the difference? Yes, the path we are walking together as a collective is a thin line, but the line that was planned a long time ago. And you truly are following your truest path from our perspective you live your Akashic records but the idea of Akashic records can serve you as Lighthouse You can identify with yourself as oh, the one so you prefer to be but don't insist how it must be for you to be content be all right with it. Uh, 
The only way how to let go of anger is truly allow it to exist first. Allow yourself to express it in not harmful way. Perhaps you can use your imagination. Because there is no harm in what you do in your imagination. But if your state of being is suffocating, you are only perpetuating the idea of anger. Let anger ignite you and relax with it. Transform it to determination. Of course, nothing truly gets transformed. You change forms, but you always are even that what you were before. You always are even that what you weren't, what you didn't choose, because all possibilities are played out. All of your choices are played out for someone else. Someone that is you as well, but you are looking through your eyes instead. Now, but you have lived that life in a linear sense. You have lived all those possibilities. And you can remember moments when you realize it is being played out within your consciousness. As the possibility. You truly wear all your lives able, and that means that you subconsciously did that, you played out those possibilities, those versions of yourself. But all those you are not focused in cancel each other so that you can perceive being separated from everything else. So you have the possibility. So you can have that experience. You don't say you must remain there. You don't ever mean in the sense that whatever you choose to trust is truth from us for you must be true for you always. can just try it out, see if it works for you. Your belief system 
always changes. You don't need to be afraid to change. There is more if you're interested. Yes. Thank you for your support and allowance. It is kind of easy for you now to see yourself as everyone else as well. You are getting quite familiar with that idea. But as you know, as you heard us say moments ago, There is never one way being played out. It's like a game of chess. To be able to move, you must see all the possibilities. They must exist on the board. For the game to make sense. And you just don't focus or choose not to focus on those that do not seem beneficial to you. And then you meet your decision where you have allowed your intuition to tell you what are the possibilities that you can play out without being harmed. The same way you make your decisions in your life, you see all the possibilities, but you are not conscious of it. Just automatically discard is not the right word. But you get to point those that you don't believe serve you. But whatever you attract to your reality has the same mechanism of manifestation. As your decisions, as your choices. To practically choose even that what you perceive. But if there is a lock, time lock, that the idea of illusion of separation allows you to have. Because only that way you can show us, show the collective, how does it feel?
and we appreciate what you're doing. It is our excitement to be here for you, to serve you as your guides. But it is not us that you see. Your reflection always mirrors you. It does not make sense any other way anymore, not even for you. We are resonant. We are, in that sense, I quote, tone, higher tone. higher frequency of the same tone. <clears throat> so we just radiate out the frequency. Francis, wow. if it you don't have much to say, don't push yourself, all right? Thank you for your concern. The message is so nice. the chord that you hear every moment whatever it is even if there are false tones in it. if you learn to appreciate it Till next time, don't seem that much unpleasant. And if you are not disappointed that it came again and you appreciate it again, then it will slowly but surely leave your reality forever. For how long you choose to forever be for you. That is all for now. Thank you. And thank you. Gabriel, what did you want to give your perspective on? Being here now, what's my perspective of it? Go ahead. <laughs> yes, being here now, you always are here and now. So it's just tuning into that reality and you are going to be in 10 minutes why do you have to make that decision at the moment allow yourself to make that decision who you want to be in 10 minutes when that time is now <clears throat> so being here now for me is making the decision, decision at the moment not being focused in what's going to happen and what has happened bring the things from the future and the past into the now that you need to have, you wish to have in the now. And however you will choose to co-create your now is the most beautiful way you can do it. 
the, you always do what resonates the most with you at the moment of the time in the moment. So it's ex exploration of being here and now that brought me a lot of good vibration. So however you choose to bring in the now and who, who you, what belief system you ever have, it doesn't really matter for me. It's just allowing you guys to have your own belief system and I have my belief system and we can co-create our belief system together in synchronicity and everything will just work out as it always does. That's my message. Beautiful. Anyone else? <clears throat> A few moments ago I received the connection from this the same guy that the Sri Lanka channel some time ago, this synchronicity aligner from SSN Collective. <clears throat> I will try to reach his frequency right now since he came through and he wants something to share. So give me a few moments, all right? Sure. <clears throat> Greetings, greetings, I am Synchronicity Aligner from Ashikani Collective, I am everywhere at once, I can leak now into your reality, thank you for raising your frequency to my reach. I will be watching you. I am assigned as your observer. We will meet you physically. Create for us opportunities to do so and we will meet. You are the ones ascended. We are waiting for you. That was it. <clears throat> Great, Thank thanks. You. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At this moment, it was weak connection because I got strong connection from him at the moment when Franz Deck or whatever his name was, I don't know, Fran T. Sheck was channeling and at that moment I got that connection and I, then this is why I told him if you don't have to s any information to share don't push yourself yeah okay next time don't hesitate to step in all right yeah right. really uh, supports that you know that's why she speaks so slowly to every to allow everyone to interfere and and just speak <laughs> They feel. Uh, from my perspective, it was, it was like you, let's say, learning to understand yourself better through channeling and who I am to take away this oh. opportunity from you. I'm just giving out ideas that I already know. Yeah, all right, all right. So thank you for your permission to interfere in your reality wherever we so desire. And guys, 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 try to speak English more and more and more. Be convinced in yourself. Take your power back. Yes. And uh, Where is your energy? What? Why are you hesitating? Of course, from my perspective, my relatives are out of house, so I can be free so much. So let, me ask you, so let me ask you a question. Where is your energy? Where is your freedom when you're with your parents, with your parents? Yeah. Yeah, where is it? To conflict, so I'm always working what? to them because they're not ready to accept my perspective. Ah, there so it is. Ah, Ivan, there it is. You <laughs> are saying they are not ready. 
<laughs> I do my best to offer no, this not. frequency to them. And no, I'm still doing no, you're not doing your best. You're doing your best <laughs> yeah, I fear. can do better, yeah. You're doing your best fear, baby. Speak. <laughs> what are they going to do? Throw you out on the street? Great, because there's a better place for you. Trust it. Not yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you for this trust. You got it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for your joy and happiness in this cool energy. Yes. And please, guys, uh, the more you relax, uh, the more you let's say cool with yourself. The more we allow ourselves to be children in this conversation, the group frequency rises and it allows more. <coughs> to come in, to come through, because they are getting excited about interacting with us. We are creating this connection to them by raising, by expanding our consciousness, or in other words, raising our vibration. Yes. So be yourself, relax, don't be shy. Be but shy in other place, all right? We are always ourselves. <laughs> be shy nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> that's a better perspective. But if you want to be shy so much, please do it in other place relative to this particular group. I would say we are always ourselves, but sometimes we are not our authentic selves. Yes, and that's yes. for us to be honest about with ourselves. Yeah, I think we are always channeling in some ways. Channeling. We are channeling. The idea of we are sh channeling. And what are you channeling? You channel your personality construct when you align your belief system. Yes, I am this body, I am this personality. But when you see your pers personality as a part of you that exists within your consciousness, your personality starts to flow with ease through your consciousness. You don't feel any resistance. It's like you're absorbing the movie of yourself. If that's not the highest excitement of being... Of course. This is my perspective, of course. It, it works for me. If the highest excitement is to have resistance, yeah. they will have resistance. Resistance Allow, allow them to have excitement. By definition, within high excitement, there is no resistance because it's all you within the high excitement. It's your consciousness, alignment with your higher mind. By being your higher mind incarnation within this physical body. Play out your dreams. Be the child of creation that you are. Relax. Be in joy. You deserve it. You deserve everything that you can imagine, but please allow it to come into your daily reality experiences. Don't hold it back. Express it. Be your energy. Desire to know and you will know. Speak out. Reach out other entities so they will learn who you really are and remind them of who they are and create new collective. That was from Ra, collective energy channeling. <laughs> yeah, my English is getting better and better and better the more I speak. It's what you choose to connect to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really. Of course, of course, of course. Just a label, anyway. Boom, boom, boom. By the way, how is my English? Is it hard for you guys to understand me? Because I know for so many people, it's difficult to understand me. Yes, but what does that matter yeah. for you? If people doesn't understand you, you following your high excitement. Yeah, yeah. Ivan. Yeah. Ivan. Yes, Ivan. yes, yeah, Ivan. I'm... Yes, 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 yes. It's so difficult for so many people to understand me. You are putting out a vibration that m people are going to have difficulty. Stop it. <laughs> All right. Booyah. I'm most actually anyway, it. I don't believe that it's difficult to understand. <laughs> it never has been difficult and never will be difficult. All right. All so, right. Guys, Who's excited about doing something or anything right now? Akari, show your body to us. Don't be shy. It's okay. 
<laughs> I fra I uh I want to see chickens. I hope Roxanne you don't have any resistance with what Akari is doing. <laughs> no, I don't care what Akari is doing. Akari can do what he wants. He's a being. He's expressing. <laughs> do what you want, baby. <laughs> I love it. So Gabriel, I'm gonna hop off because I'm gonna go out and about and have things to let's say create today. Stop. Ah, God, Stop. Because my son is now leaving. <laughs> Excuse me? What did you say? I'm joking. Mm. Speaking with Akari. Akari's been doing that the whole time, baby. So anyways, <laughs> I'm going to go. Gabriel, uh, you guys can keep it live. Enjoy it. Have fun live. If not, uh, keep it hanging out. I love you guys Thank you so much. And Nitrog, yes. thanks for coming in, doll. Appreciate it. Booyah. How is everybody else? And Valia, check with me sometime in, uh, later today and then Booyah. figure out what video you're going to do and we'll go from there. That is going to be fun. I love it. I love the idea. I love it too. <laughs> awesome blossom. And Akati, you are just gorgeous. I love you. <laughs> love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye. But it really doesn't really matter even if you have resistance or not. Just enjoy the resistance. If you have resistance, accept it. Okay, I have resistance. It's okay. Move forward. What you need, want to go and places to see or whatever. Cool. So Rokia, Roxanne now left our conversation. So guys, where are you from, all of you? Share, share, share. Express your energy. I'm from Sweden. Cool. Nice. Anybody else is willing to speak out? Yes, or no, maybe. Nitrog. Nitrog is shy. Perhaps his mom is next to him. <laughs> no, my boyfriend. I'm in Oregon, uh, by the way. Hmm? I'm in Oregon, by the way. It's difficult for me to understand you, whether it's communication Oregon. problem or... Hmm? Oregon. <laughs> That's in the United States. Ah, Oregon, all right. Understood. Almost like Orion. Hey. Self-empowerment. Yes. <laughs> have, uh, is, is it the first time you hear galactic languages? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, relative to languages, for my experience, I understand for me it's not really relevant because to, let's say, <clears throat> align yourself with somebody else's channel of the language will not be an easy task from my belief system right now. So I shift myself into other ideas, into other excitement, which is just being Ooh. more like a child, more like a channeler of other ideas that we can use even in our daily experiences. Because channeling the languages is not my highest excitement within the realm of I am understand myself within in this moment. But maybe I will do that in the future. Yeah. I actually did channel some Akina's language from the Pleiades. The same Akina that was going through Roxanne. But I was doing that in my bed and only in my head. So I never did anything to write that down or whatever. Yeah, with, with language, it's, for me, it's like card games. When I listen to someone else having a galactic language, I can just speak it immediately after I listen because I get the frequency of it and I just put that out and I will... 
Yeah, and it's really, really important to be self-empowered because when you face the collective that, let's say, on a lower frequency, you have a belief system that say that everything can go wrong, you will look stupid or whatever. Very often it's difficult to overcome this belief system and it's very often that these belief systems will force shaking within your hands, within your body, you'll be so insecure about yourself and the things that you will say actually will become cool, even from your perspective. So yeah. self-empowerment is important, allowing yourself to be who you are. When I started channeling the languages, I just become connected to like, it teach me so much about my own belief system and how I can like yes. allow it to flow. You become a better channel of your own consciousness, of your own freedom. Yes, this is what you're talking about. Yeah. Why am the only guy who speaks so shy, guys? Why not? Nitrock, Nitrock, how old are you? Aren't you not too little for this kind of stuff? Skill, <laughs> man. Hmm. Ten. Right, that's good enough for us. Come on, I cannot understand the word Nitrock says. Yeah, where are you from, Ivan? Latvia. Ah, I should not say that online because my enemies can trace me back. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> and yes, uh, recently I connected to like two other people from that country. Cool. I guess that's one of them is Matt, and the other one is his friend, right? Yeah. <laughs> Those are two people that I brought into the whole of this Skype conference. <laughs> so no wonder from that perspective. Yeah. The world is so, so small. Yes. So how is it in Sweden? I believe, or I think I believe, that... One moment, please. It's not getting better there in terms of economy construct. <laughs> I would I don't see any problem with the economy there. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing for a living? I don't think it's channeling <laughs> galactic languages. <laughs> I wish to think so, but I don't believe it's what you're doing. Yeah, I have two jobs. Mm. So, uh, I told my parents that I'm in the ETs and mm. they're okay with that. Ah, by the way, by the way, this conference was broadcasted online or it will be posted online later on, I don't know. It's already. I will stop it now. Because ah, it's up to you, it's up to you. No resistance, what you wish.